The Viking hordes came sailing down to plunder, rape, and pillage. From Hakon's force not any town was safe, nor any village. They swept through both the Hebrides, instilling fear and dread. The year 1263, when it all came to a head. A hundred ships King Hakon sent, each filled to brim with troops. On invasion clearly he was bent, as they split into two groups. The first one sailed Kintyre's shore, to divide and subjugate. The second romped through the Isle of Butte, until their thirst they'd sate. All gathered then in Cumbry's lee, in sight of mainland prize, until a storm blew up that day, catching holes lead by surprise. For several long ships stranded were, neath the Cunningham hills for shore, atop which Alexander's army stood, battle stations to the fore. But Hacken hatched a cunning plot, to strike in dead of night. His army would creep up the hill, and give those Scots a fright. He hoped to catch them unaware, as they all lay a-sleeping. With axe and broadsword skyward raised, upon them they'd come a-leaping. But fortune smiled upon the Scots, as shoes the Vikings shed. So they could climb more quietly, than rain down on each head. Twas then that Scotia's flower so fair sprang up and saved the day. As Vikings trod on spiked leaves, loud howls came from the bray. Awakened by those painful cries, the surprise attack was spoiled. The Scots arose to meet their foe, whose stealth the thistle foiled. And thus lark slope soon filled be, with Norse blood, gore, and gristle. And evermore remember we, the legend of the thistle.